I've built plenty of serverless web applications that run in a single region with a database in that region. But my new app is business critical, so I need high availability. Also, my users come from all over the world. How do I set that up, Vita? I'd be happy to show you. If you're building an application that has users from all over the world, you could put a single Cloud Run service and a database instance in a single region. Google will route the traffic and everything will work. But what if my service or database goes down? Or if Google Cloud has problems in that region? Then your application would have an outage. We can increase your app's availability by making it multi-regional. Oh, right. I remember deploying my Cloud Run service in multiple regions in another video I shot with Ahmed. Uh, I'll link to that video in the description. Right. If your Cloud Run service runs in multiple regions, problems in one region are less likely to take down your app. But you will still have a single point of failure. Oh, what's that? Well, if your database runs in only one region and it goes down, your entire app goes down. OK, so can I run my database in multiple regions as well? Sure, yes, you can. Um, you set up a primary database instance in one region and add a read replica in a secondary region. If disaster strikes, you perform a failover and send all traffic to the secondary region instead, which then becomes your new primary region. You would need to keep a close watch on your database to make sure you detect a failure and perform a successful failover at the right time. And you only said that because there's another way that involves less work, didn't you, Vita? Yes, uh, I did. Um, so if you pick a database that can support multiple regions, like Cloud Spanner, you gain three things. First, you don't have to configure the database instances yourself, set up replications between them, and so on. Second, your code can just call the Spanner API using the client library, and Spanner will figure out which database instance to connect to. And finally, you can serve traffic from all regions instead of just from your primary region. Got it. Uh, I shot a video with Derek about Spanner. Uh, Spanner is a relational database, right? That's right. It uses the SQL that you're already familiar with. It's strongly consistent, and it supports transactions. All right. Uh, I have an app here, which is a simple REST API. I've deployed the Cloud Run service in multiple regions using the instructions from that other video. Now, how do I set up the Spanner database? In the Cloud Console, click the hamburger menu, scroll down to Databases, and pick Spanner. Enable the API and wait for it to take effect. When it's done, click Create New Instance, and then Compare Region Configurations. OK, uh, I see a drop-down list here of regional and multi-regional configurations. Right. So the regional configurations use replicas in multiple zones within a region. That gives you a very reliable database with a 99.99% availability service level agreement, or four nines. Now, if you want to be sure that problems in one region are unlikely to affect your database, pick one of the multi-regional configurations. Using one of those increases the availability service level agreement to five nines. Mm, got it. And my applications has users in London and Singapore. Now, I don't see a configuration with those two regions specifically. OK, so if you have users in London and Singapore, pick a spanner configuration that provides replicas as close as possible to your users. Applications and databases tend to talk a lot back and forth before they return a response to the user. So deploy your Cloud Run services close to the Spanner replicas. You may also want to consider cost and carbon intensity when you pick your region. The data for that is all in the Cloud Console. It says uh, that the prices are for 1,000 processing units. Uh, how does that work? 1,000 processing units is the default. You can buy processing units in increments of 100. If you only buy 100, the price will be 10% of the one you see quoted there. If you buy 2,000 units, the price will be double the one you see there. Mm. And how many units should I pick, Vita? Spanner allocates 4 terabytes of storage for every 1,000 processing units. In other words, if your database is 400 gigabytes or less, you can get away with 100 processing units. 
Also, each 1000 processing units can support up to 10,000 reads per second or 2000 writes per second. Many developers use 100 processing units for their development and test environments. It saves money. For production environments, it makes sense to start with 1000 processing units and adjust as needed. The Spanner documentation goes into more details about this. Got it. I will include the links uh, to the docs from the video description below. Now, what if I pick too many processing units or too few? Uh, can I change it later? Sure, you can. You can change it even while the database is running. Just go to the Spanner page in Cloud Console and enter a new value or run the right gcloud command from your command prompt. And do I need to update my application code to hit the right Spanner replica? No, if you use the Spanner client library, you just need to create a connection, send your SQL query, and Spanner will figure out where to run it. Also, Spanner notices if any region or zone is down, so it won't send queries to it. That means you don't need to perform a failover yourself. Ah, I love it. Less code is better. Uh, now, all right, Vitze, uh, tell me if this makes sense. My development and test environments will each be a single Spanner instance with 100 processing units. Each of them will be accessed by a Cloud Run service in a single region. That sounds good. You will save money by only using 100 processing units. Got it. Uh, my production environment will have a multi-regional Spanner configuration. I will set it up with 1000 processing units at first and then adjust it up or down as real traffic starts coming in. I will deploy a Cloud Run service in the same region as each Spanner replica. That makes sense. If you need four nines of Spanner availability, go with one of the regional configurations. But if you need five nines, go with one of the multi-regional ones, which adds replicas in more regions. That way, you won't have a single point of failure for your database. Pick a configuration that includes replicas close to your users. Got it. Thanks for showing me this, Vitsa. And thank you, everyone, for watching. If you have any questions about multi-regional Cloud Run or Spanner, please let us know in the comments. Also, tell us if there are other serverless topics you'd like us to bring up in future episodes. See you next time. Mm -hmm.